Nothing like the holiday season to get in time for murder. What did I just say? Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, Jeremy here with my review of A Very Supernatural Christmas. And you might be wondering, where the hell has this review been? Kinda just went on a real good tangent there and then just came to a dead goddamn halt. And, eh, procrastination, going back to work, things changing, there's a lot of things going on over on my end that I'll be giving you guys updates about in the coming weeks, but at least to say there has been a lot happening. And I actually have tried to watch this episode three times, but it's just been something has come up that has prevented me from finishing it. So here is my review, finally. And this is one of the best episodes of Supernatural. This is one of the quintessential, fun, homey, very down-to-earth, but also very rooted in what the show is episode of this show. The episode begins with a kid watching his grandfather pretend to be Santa Claus and then get churned up the freaking chimney by some sort of evil pagan Santa Claus. This episode was actually one of the reasons why I was so excited for when that Krampus movie came out because I was like, ah, oh, cool. It's that kind of concept, but with a higher budget. The brothers come to this town to find out that Parents are being snatched up and stolen by evil Santa Claus. All the while, they're reminiscing about why Sam, in particular, does not like Christmas. And they have these very good reflections, these great memories about their childhood and what it was like to always be on the road, to not really know what their father was doing, but also just how holidays worked or didn't work in their situations. And this episode also gives us an origin of how Sam has always been the smart one, how Sam has always been the investigative one, the visual one, the observant one. And we see how he puts two and two together and he realizes at a very young age that what's happening is not normal. And Dean, not the smarter of the two, but obviously the proud, independent, but also a protective one, is trying to keep that illusion of not horror to Sam, but at the same time he doesn't know how and that's why he gets frustrated. The writing at first I thought was kind of bad because it's not the greatest in certain situations because young Dean just says, keeps saying shut up all the time, but I realize that Jeremy Carver who wrote this episode, he's trying to illustrate so many mature themes of children, but at the same time trying to keep it simplistic for them because they are child actors. It's hard to ask a lot. The uh, pedestal for child acting has gone up considerably in recent years, but at the time seeing this in a television show of this caliber was very rare. So it's great to see the emotional writing be simplified but still have the same form of execution and the same purpose as it would if it was a little bit more mature and if they were a little bit older. They also go to a Christmas tree farm called Murphy's Christmas Tree Farm. It's actually very close to where I live. The episode came out in 2007. Most likely they filmed it in like September or uh, maybe August of that year which explains why there's no snow. They talk about mild weather in Michigan. That's actually a great joke because they also say we don't really have any Hallmark memories and July and August is when they film Christmas movies out here. All the goddamn time. I should know. I'm on one right now. I thought that was a great inside joke at the industry in total. But going back to that Christmas tree farm, I swear when I was 17, I was driving past that thing with my dad and I remember seeing a film crew there. And I swear it was at that time when they were filming that episode. So I swear I drove past it. I'm... I might be completely pulling that out of my butt, but I swear I saw a film crew there at the approximate time of when they should have been filming that episode. And then it turns out it's all about pagan lore and worship and whatnot. I think this is the episode that really told me about the origins of Christmas. I'm pretty certain that this was it because when they talked about how the origins of pagan lore, how Jesus and the current and the and the church kind of amalgamated with Christmas and whatnot. I thought that was actually a really cool little tidbit about this episode. And then the two who play the gods are fantastic. These archetypes of 50s style and culture and mannerisms, dialogue. I thought their dialogue, their characterisms were just spot on. So fucking good. Because even when they're cutting up Dean, it's like, I always say fudge. And I swear that's where I've picked it up. Sometimes I'll say, like, oh, fudge. And it's probably from this episode. And then there's also the really, really gross scene 
that it all of a sudden goes from really, really funny sort of situation to Sam getting his fucking nail ripped off. Oh, it was so brutal. Speaking of brutal, actually, going back a bit to the second Santa Claus kidnapping, I always imagine that the one who's in the suit is Goldberg because of that terrible Goldberg Santa Claus movie. I I laugh so hard every time I think about that. Just, what was it even called? Claus, Christ I don't know, just Goldberg going around murdering people with Santa Claus. But then they kill the gods with the pagan things. We see the origins of Dean's necklace. We see the brothers really bonding as children. And then we get to see them bond as adults. And they have the worst Christmas gifts to each other with the skin mags and the shaving cream. And it's so funny, but it's also so heartwarming. And then the last shot, the last shot is something akin to the old black and white films where we get a view from the window or our outside looking in and we slowly pull away and then snow, which is just water and soap bubbles falling on top of the Impala as the camera pulls away. Honestly, I first I was going to give this episode a six, but just seeing how the whole thing is put together, this is such a, a quintessential episode of Supernatural. It's one of the best ones of this season. It's one of the best ones of the original five because it just nailed everything. It had every element perfected. The horror, the humor, and the emotional core. So in the end, I'm going to give A Very Supernatural Christmas a 7 out of 7. It's really that good. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. I swear I'm going to start doing the comments at the end of the videos now. I just won't do it for this one because I am very tired. It's been a long week. Um, but the next video review, Malice Malacorum, Malacorum. Give me what you guys think about that episode. Give me your comments about that. I will read those in that episode review. The comments you guys have given me for the previous episodes, I will be reading those off in a video soon. So again, sorry for the delays. It's just been a lot the last little while. But again, when I give you guys the update about what's been going on, I'm pretty sure you'll understand. But until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.